Hello guys, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Today we are going to look at sizing of contactor for direct online or full voltage starting for three phase square cage induction motor. So let's get started. Now we are going to look at one safety margin for sizing the contactor two standard type of contactor to purchase using the utilization category contactor sizing before we size the contactor there are certain parameters you need to consider one is full load current or fla Full load current is the current rating of the squirrel cage induction motor, usually located on the nameplate of the three phase squirrel cage induction motor. Okay? Now, this is the nameplate of the three phase squirrel cage induction motor. So, now we are going to look at the full load arms or the rated current of this motor all right so on the name plate you have 52 amps all right 52 amps this is the full load amps of the motor all right okay and also we need what you call contactor sizing factor csf the contactor sizing factor is a margin that is applied to the current rating of the motor in order to enable as determine the suitable size of a contactor there are three main margins or ranges that are used to determine the size of a contactor and out of these three we will consider the most preferred margin okay one we are going to use 100% margin, alright? Size is equal to FLE times 100%. So this 100% would be our margin multiplied by the full load amps or the full load current, okay? With a full load amps of 52, okay, amps from the motor nameplate. So let's look at the nameplate of the motor the 52 amps we are going to use this 52 amps to multiply by the hundred percent okay to get our sizing to get our size all right size is equal to 52 times hundred percent and we know that hundred percent is equal to one because hundred over hundred is one size is equal to 52 amps all right now let's look at the contactor routines chart this is the current routine of the contactor all right the standard current routine of contactors okay now we got 52 amps from our calculation so we are going to look out for a number that is a little higher or above 52 amps and that will be 65 all right so Therefore, size of contactor is 65 amps. All right. Now let's use the 125% margin. Okay. Size is equal to FLE times 125%. With the same full load amps of 52 from the motor nameplate. Okay. Size will be 52 times 125 and then 125% is equal to 1.25 all right so size is equal to 52 times 1.25 size is equal to 65 now let's look out for a number from the contactor ratings chart okay that is a little higher than the 65 that number will be 70 so therefore the size of 
the contactor here is 70 amps using the 125 percent margin we are using 150 percent margin size is equal to fle times 150 with the same current rating of 52 amps our size is equal to 52 times 150 percent and we know that 150 percent is 1.5 that is 150 over 100 okay size is equal to 78 amps when you multiply 52 by 1.5 we get 78 amps from the ratings chart okay we are looking out for a number which is above 78 amps and that number will be 80 okay so therefore the contactor size all right is 80 amps so now when we are to purchase this contactors okay you can use 65 or 70 amps or the 80 amps okay all right so now we are looking at the safety margin or factor safety margin or factor mostly preferred is 150 percent that is 1.5 what it means is that when we calculate for the size of a contactor all right we have to use 1.5 that is the mostly preferred factor or the value or the margin okay why because this margin is selected so that the suitable size of the contactor will be enough to withstand any inrush current high overload and other transient conditions that may occur while the motor is started and running without the contactor load contacts getting bent what it means is that in order for the contactor to be able to withstand these conditions that is the high inrush current high overload transient conditions and other conditions okay the size of the contactor should be enough to withstand this because when we use the 1.5 margin you are going to get a value higher than using 125 percent or the 100 percent okay let's continue now we are coming to um see the type of contactor to purchase all right before you purchase the contactor after performing the calculation you consider what you called utilization category utilization category is an iec term used to describe the specific type of application of contactor in a specific working space or environment what it is talking about is that after getting the size of the contactor so now we are using the 1.5 margin okay and with the 1.5 margin we got 80 amps all right so now we now know our size of contactor to be 80 amps okay it is now left for us to go and buy that particular contactor and they are telling us that for us to be able to know a particular type of contactor okay we use what you call utilization category okay let's see here now we see this chart okay this chart here we have the utilization category it consists of ac1 ac2 ac3 and then ac4 ac15 okay let's look at the definition we have the resistance furnaces it says non-inductive or slightly inductive loose resistive furnaces when you look at the ac2 the ac2 says slip rings all right starting and stopping of running motors let's look at the ac3 the ac3 says that squirrel cage motors starting and stopping of running motors 
AC4 says that that same squirrel cage motors. The definition says that starting, plugging, and inching. Plugging is understood as stopping or reversing the motor rapidly by reversing the motor primary connections while the motor is running. Inching or jogging is understood as energizing a motor once or repeatedly for short periods to obtain small movement of the driven mechanism. Let's look at the AC15. It says electromagnet. The definition says electromagnet for contactors, valves, and then solenoid actuators. Okay, so now the standard okay category when purchasing or buying a contactor okay is the AC3. AC3, okay, AC3 that is the most preferred category. When you are buying a contactor for square cage induction motor okay because AC3 is for starting and stopping of running motors only that is the square cage motors starting and stopping of running motors but we also have AC4 square cage motors but this one it is for reduced voltage status that is the engine that we talk of engine all right yes so the preferred category is ac3 square cage motors for starting and stopping of running motors that is the preferred um category if you want to use the contactor on square cage motors okay yeah so let's look at this contactor we have the chained contactor here this contactor is 25 amps that is nc1-25 the 25 means it is 25 amps okay and now let's look at the utilization category it is ac3 ac3 okay that is the utilization category for this contactor it means that they used this contactor for square cage induction motor all right that is why they bought a contactor of AC3 category. So this is so simple, okay? So engineers, we are done, okay? If this is the first time you are watching this channel, I will urge you that you subscribe to this channel, okay? You hit the bell icon, and then you like the video, you put down your comment, and then you share the video to your friends, okay? I will see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.